I just want to show you something that if your generation will clap for you is in your hand. You know, the Bible says in John chapter 2, there was a marriage feast in Cana and Jesus was there. Can I see John chapter 2? And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, they have no wine. And then Jesus said unto her, woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not yet come. Open these two plates for me, Pastor. Is this rice? Eh? Are you sure? This is raw rice. Whether you like it or not, there's almost nothing this is to a hungry man. Because they say an hungry man has no patience. Is it true? It takes patience to turn this rice to this rice. If I ask a child now, or an adult man, these two rice, which one they want, almost everybody will go for this. Because it's a what? It's a finished product. It's ready. Only a woman who is choicy won't go for this. She will take time to prepare this. Because she wants to eat to her taste. So whatever you want this rice to be, you have to settle down and make it so. This is like your marriage. Today you are entering it, you are raw in it. There are many things you don't know like Pastor Gladys said, many things you don't know. You have to learn to bring in the tomatoes, the maggi, the onions. And then you just only don't bring the ingredients. You must know how to mix it perfectly. Because there can be too much salt or too much pepper. So the beauty of this food is in both of your hands. In a nutshell, make it work. If the marriage is going to be salty, it's in your hands. If it's going to be too pepperish, is in your hands. If there's going to be no pepper, is in your hand. If it's going to be perfect, is in both of your hands. So learn to understand the ingredients needed so that your husband can be satisfied or your wife can be satisfied. Can I say something to you? You can finish cooking and he says he's not eating. Not because he's angry, because as he took the first spoon, it breaks the principle of his appetite. The pepper is too much. So what do you do? It's simple. Get to know yourselves, know your likes and know your dislikes and do your best to manage yourself in that direction. God bless you.